Join us, the Krusty Krab crew, as we present the story of Mr. Krabs and the Krusty Krab, created by Adrian Perez, Ashley Kimmerly, Christopher Boehm, Eder Flores, Gabriel Avivi, and Marvin Antunes. Follow the lives of select residents from the town of Bikini Bottom as they navigate everyday life and overcome various, often self-imposed, work challenges. This is a story about self-discovery and empowerment, as Mr. Krabs learns how to be a good manager, Spongebob finds a career path, Patrick finally finds a job he's good at, and Squidward realizes that he doesn't have to hate everyone just as much as he thought. Our location is Bikini Bottom, a town of some odd 558 residents situated in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This charming underwater city is home to various businesses, including restaurants, stores, and manufacturers. The thriving economy has fostered a balanced education system, a less than competent law enforcement team, and very questionable health care. Forget about Jersey Shore, Floribama, and Siesta Key. It's time to say hello to Bikini Bottom. It's time to meet the cast of our story. Eugene Harold Krabs, a.k.a. Mr. Krabs, owner and operator of the Krusty Krab. He tends to worry about his riches more than his employees or customers, exploiting his product's superior value and abusing his position power to engage in price gouging and deplorably low employee compensation. However, as the show progresses, Mr. Krabs realizes that his management style isn't conduct conducive to his strategic vision and that his employees and customers are an integral part of his business and should be treated as such. SpongeBob SquarePants, head fry cook of the Krusty Krab. He's enthusiastic about his job and hopes to own his own business one day. However, he is also young and inexperienced, and as a result, somewhat immature. Although disorganized, he is a hard worker and can exhibit great determination when required. His dream is to get a promotion, but he gets passed over every time because he lacks the skills needed. SpongeBob is innovative and often comes up with new business ideas that have great potential. He represents the content employee who feels dissatisfied with his job but wishes for more responsibilities. Over the course of the story, SpongeBob learns how to communicate his needs to Mr. Krabs and highlights to the importance of employee development for facilitating a more productive workforce with a low turnover rate. And he is extremely ready. Patrick Starr, self-proclaimed master of the art of doing nothing. He is the number one fan of Krabby Patties, the Krusty Krab's signature burger. His dream is to have a job, but because of his lack of common sense and overall cluelessness, he has trouble with even the simplest of tasks. Patrick has no direction or life goals, viewing everything with a short-term approach. He lacks self-efficacy, often looking for approval and positive reinforcement from others. Patrick represents the younger generation that will soon be entering the workforce. He is lost and needs help finding the path to fulfillment and success. However, with the help of SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs, he discovers that there is a perfect job out there for him and he is then able to fulfill his self-actualization needs. One thing is known for certain, the inner mechanisms of his mind are an enigma. Squidward Tentacles, cashier of the Krusty Krab. He's a gloomy, grumpy, and overall unhappy character. He hates his job and the co-workers, but sticks around because he needs the paycheck to make ends meet. Squidward manifests the symptoms of a disengaged employee. He complains all the time, lacks enthusiasm, and is negative towards everything. He does not care whether the company succeeds or fails, and instead of helping the business, he drags it down. Unlike Spongebob, he doesn't have any emotional attachment to the Krusty Krab, so he's unlikely to go to the extra mile or take initiative on getting a task or project completed. Squidward lacks energy and motivation, exhibits little to no creativity or innovation, and he simply does not care about customer satisfaction, and he has a low sense of work, work centrality, just going through the motions to get through the day. As the restaurant and its employees undergo organizational changes, Squidward becomes more motivated and cooperative, acting like a part of the in-group instead of an outsider. Sheldon J. Plankton, self-proclaimed arch-nemesis of Mr. Krabs and the Krusty Krab. Plankton represents competition, specifically the corrupt side of it. He is a devious, manipulative, and unscrupulous business rival. Plankton's business plans all revolve around stealing the Krabby Patty secret formula so that he can copy it and make the Chum Bucket popular. Mr. Krabs, Spongebob, and even Squidward at times end up going to great lengths to protect this information from falling into the wrong hands and thus eliminating the only entry barrier that they had. Plankton is motivated by greed and his desire for business success. Due to his very short stature, he has developed a Napoleon complex which is characterized by aggressive and domineering behavior. 
Episode 1, SpongeBob's Promotion. SpongeBob is extremely excited to be getting promoted to the manager of the Krusty Krab 2, Mr. Krab's new restaurant. When SpongeBob arrives at the Krusty Krab, his excitement is crushed when Mr. Krab offers the promotion to Squidward instead. Mr. Krab explains the job design of the new position, explaining that he feels that SpongeBob cannot handle all the responsibilities of being a manager due to his inexperience and immaturity. SpongeBob is very upset, and Squidward, who you think would be more on would be more honored, is less than enthusiastic about his new position, as Mr. Krabs is not very generous when it comes to adequate compensation for his employees. SpongeBob becomes even more outraged when he learns that Squidward isn't one bit grateful to the position that SpongeBob had been dreaming of and points out to Mr. Krabs that his scores on performance evaluations are always excellent, while Squidward's are subpar. SpongeBob leaves work and runs back into Patrick, who gives SpongeBob a very bright idea. Episode 2, Spongebob's Substitute Patties. After Mr. Krabs looks over Spongebob for the promotion, Spongebob looks for revenge by creating a substitute product called Pretty Patties. The Pretty Patties became a huge hit, all thanks to the innovative idea of allowing customers to handpick the color of their specific patties. This creates superior value for the Pretty Patties. However, after the initial novelty wore off, customers began to realize the new Pretty Patties were of much worse quality than Krabby Patties. Additionally, the patties were turning the customers' tongues into various bright colors from the added food dyes. SpongeBob's business quickly went from being a success to a failure. Mr. Krabs is worried that eventually one of SpongeBob's ideas will succeed and take away revenue. This makes a cheap and money greedy Mr. Krabs extremely jealous. He decides to use this opportunity to work on his employee development and help SpongeBob learn the necessary skills needed to get a promotion. This sets a career path for SpongeBob. Mr. Krab exhibits a managerial role and decides to negotiate a deal where SpongeBob terminates his new idea and he will hire Patrick as a result. Episode 3 Group Decision Making True to his word, Mr. Krabs begins the employee hiring process for Patrick. Squidward notices his manager working on this and peeks a look at the name. Knowing very well the true working qualities of Patrick, he advises Krabs against hiring him, even if he made a deal with Spongebob. He attempts to convince Krabs to just give Spongebob a raise instead, but Krabs refuses. He will no not go against his ethics, never breaking a deal, and blocks out the negative stimuli from Squidward. He is plagued with selected perception, and in turn makes a serious ethical lapse by hiring Patrick. Training Patrick proves to be extremely difficult. All of Squidward's best, decent efforts to make Patrick a functional worker fail. Mr. Krabs, Squidward, and Spongebob fall prey to groupthink when they decide to unanimously move Patrick to the kitchen when they all to some degree think that keeping Patrick is a mistake. Patrick proves to be a failure in the kitchen as well, almost killing several customers with food poisoning. Meanwhile, Plankton was watching closely the ruckus taking place at his rival's restaurant. Was now the time to finally steal the recipe? Episode 4, Competitive Advantage. In this episode of Spongebob, Plankton attempts to sell his very own Krabby Patties at his restaurant, The Chum Bucket. But unfortunately for Plankton, customers are dissatisfied with his version of the patties. This episode of Spongebob focuses on rarity, with Plankton's desire to get his hands on the secret recipe for the illustrious Krabby Patty. When the customers at the Chum Bucket become dissatisfied with Plankton's Krabby Patties, it shows us how the patties are difficult to imitate and that the Krabby Patties are non-substitutable. This episode also focuses on the competitive advantage and the difficulty to gain it, as well as entry barriers, such as the Krusty Krab secret recipe. Episode 5, Organizational Structure. In this episode, we focus on the reconstruction of the Krusty Krabs' organizational structure due to Mr. Krabs overlooking SpongeBob as a potential candidate for the position of manager for the Krusty Krab 2. Mr. Krabs now has a very difficult task on his hands, the task of how to restructure his organizational design so that hardworking employees won't feel neglected by an opportunity they feel they should at least deserve consideration in. By doing so, he will be able to expand opportunities to those who are really interested in growth rather than choosing someone who has little to no interest in the position itself and is more interested in financial gain instead. Mr. Krabs has two choices in this case. He can operate on a tall organizational structure, which is a structure made up of multiple leather levels, 
or a flat organizational structure, which has fewer levels but may operate more effectively. Thank you for viewing the midterm trailer for our SpongeBob-based managerial project. We look forward to bringing you the finished product later this semester. A special thank you to all the people who made and released these awesome resources for free. Presentation template by Slides Carnival, photographs by Unsplash, paper backgrounds by Subtle Patterns.